guys, so, um, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of me saying so, um, but anyway, <laughs> and I'm sick, I'm tired of me saying, but anyway, but not for real, so, this, um, this is the last video I want to show you all, um, I went to, on Saturday, I had to go, well, yesterday, I had to go to, um, big lots to take back a sheet set that I bought that I showed you all before and so I finally you know decided let me use one of my new sheet sets and the dang old thing only had the fitted sheet in it so I had to go take it back and then I really like that one because this is one like I never seen it was like a snake print so I went back I took it back and then of course I found some more stuff because just go get a, a sheet set and call it a day I had to buy some stuff in there so I wanted to show you all what I bought just to show you, give you all some ideas for storage ideas. So I bought this. This was two forty, and it's made by um, Sterilight, and so it's just a little storage container thing. But you see how you put that on there, and then you can snap it like that. And so this is actually for shoes. That's not what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to put my nail polishers in it because I have two little things that I'm keeping my nail polish in and I ran out of space. So I'm just going to put them in here. So they won't be all over the place. And then this is what I'm going to, uh, they had, these are my stair but they're made kind of differently. And I'm going to use these for my shoes. Hold on, let me make sure I got them. Two, three, four. Okay, these were this whole like one this thing and this thing right here was a dollar and I bought five of them and you see right there it has a picture of like a shoe so I'm gonna use these to store my shoes because I'm running out of space for my shoes but then also I thought this would come in handy like when I go out of town when I'm driving somewhere instead of trying to put my shoes inside my suitcase taking up space I could just put them in this and you know just put this in my trunk and that will be easier than put everything as you know how the suitcases have that lining but then that takes up about this much space and when I go out of town I like to have options so that'll be good and then I have a godson and his birthday was in May and I didn't get him his gift yet so when I go home I'm gonna uh, take him his birthday gift so they have Fisher Price in there for nine dollars. For those who have kids, y'all might want to see this. The rest of y'all probably don't care about these toys, but I got that for him. And this was nine dollars, and it's supposed to help him like learn how to stack and just different things, help him learn how to count. So go in there if you have a child and you're, you know, pants. This amount of price for Fisher Price toys is better than how much they try to charge everywhere else. So I got him that little phone thing for seven dollars. So this was to teach him how to like cope with his like, walking and everything, get his balance right. And so I got this sheet set. Purple is my favorite color, so I got that design. And um, you see it's open. Before I left the store, I'm like I'm checking this time because the sheet. I don't know if like the the company who made the sheet made a mistake and only put that in there or somebody stole it. And I'm like, how you steal a sheet set and get away with it? Y'all didn't see them walking out the store with some sheets unless they put the sheets and said something else, which I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> then you know my sheets weren't in there. I'm like, I thought I dropped it. Uh, I'm looking all over the place. No, somebody stole them sheets. And then I got this one as well. And then this didn't come from Big Life, but I want to show you all this. I thought these were some cute, like, pastel colors. I got this from Dollar General. Sally Hansen Hardest Nail. And it's, this is uh, called Hardcore Party 160. And it's just the light pink color. And then I got this one, my favorite color. No Hard Feelings 370. Which is just a light purple. So, and those were two dollars, I think, two dollars a piece or something. A dollar general. Alrighty. Oh, and then I got these for the bathtub, and these were nine fifty. For those of you who have children who love Thomas and Friends, I said I was gonna make this his favorite show. 
seems like most male kids that they like that show but she said he hasn't watched it yet because she can't she don't know what time it come on so i know i said no more makeup but um i had already bought one of these in purple and so when i went in there i said i had two more colors so i bought it since they were only a dollar and they're the um the jazz the diamond cosmetics jazz uh line the mineral makeup and so i got one in blue this doesn't have a name on it though but it's just different shades of blue and then i bought this one it says rock and roll but i don't think that's the name of it just five different colors and then I bought this because um, when I showed you all that, they had the, um, the brush looks like it's crooked, or the apple head looks like it's crooked. I told you all they had the um, the mascara at Walgreens for $2.29. So when I went back in there, they didn't have it, and my mother wanted to try it. So I bought this. Well, I bought this to replace the one that I have because she wanted the um, waterproof. So $3. And this. At Walgreens, when I looked online, it said $8.99, but at CVS, they, they're selling this for $9.29. So. so I bought a movie, The Air I Breathe, $3. So it has some good people in it that made me decide to try it. Kevin Bacon, Julie Delpy, I don't know who that is, Brenda Fraser, Andy Garcia, Sarah Michelle Geller, Emil Hirsch, and Forrest Whitaker. So. I didn't want to look at the backs because that ruins the movie, but like $3, those are some good actors. Why not try it out? And I bought this column set for $2 because I needed a pick. And so I bought a pick from the Dollar Tree and it wasn't good. And I can't remember where I bought my pick when I went natural the first time. But this is made by BioSwiss. And so it was a four piece set. It came with this comb, this comb, and this comb. But I wanted it for this. Yeah, this is good because the one I got from Dollar Tree, it is it's like flimsy. So that that was good. For two dollars. Then I'm not showing you all the stuff in order, but I went to Walmart to get some groceries and <clears throat> they had uh, this Blu-ray for five dollars Grand Sereno and I wanted to see this movie I heard some good things about it so like five dollars for a Blu-ray you can't beat that and they at Walmart you know how they always just have like their DVDs and such just in a big like not all the time but sometimes just a big old stupid bin and just throw everything in there so then you you have to search and see what you want so the first time i saw that being i saw this movie on the side and i'm like i want to see i want to get this this was 750 or 788 but i could never find it so i'm like okay let me look one more time let me see if i can see it and it was like sitting almost right at the top so i'm like thank you because <laughs> i really wanted to get this because it has don Cheeto in it michael douglas benicio del toro dennis uh, quaid and uh Catherine Zeta Jones. And so I'm like, those are some good uh actors and you know, actress. And it's called Traffic. And I looked at it a little bit on the back. It's kind of it almost kind of sound like Crash a little bit, but not exactly. But you know how in Crash, how they were all connected to each other somehow. So I'm like, I've been wanting to get this movie and um you know it was I couldn't find it so I'm like God please let this movie be in one of the first movies I see and it was like right there so finally got it yeah so of course I went to the Dollar Tree because it's right in there by Walmart and I went in there for a specific reason I'm in class and one of my classes my professor decides that he wants us it's Greek week or something he said so we have to come to school dressed in a toga it's mandatory <laughs> how you gonna make me come in or something so i'm like i'll play along so he i guess we might get extra credit if we go all out so i bought this to go around the sheet and then on the little instructions he gave us to say like come with a 
a um one of these things they said make it out of a hanger but i'm like i also like taking a loose a hanger and trying to make a circle this was a dollar at the dollar tree and they say wrap wrap the hanger with leaves i'm wrapping it with this this came from the dollar tree as well there you go i hope he gives me some good extra credit for me playing along make you come to class with a dang old toga on I'm sorry about that. I gotta go to work before class. Hope it don't take me a long time to try to pin that thing together. And I got this book. It's Marion Jones on the right track. So, supposed to be talking about, I guess, a little scandal when it came to find out that she did use performance drugs. Which, um, I hope it actually talks about that and it doesn't talk about something else. Because that's why I bought it. I don't care to hear about anything else that she might be trying to tell us. I want to hear about that little scandal. And the last thing that I want to show you came from today. I um in the video that I have that I'm posting right now, actually, I was telling you all about the Supreme of Nature product. And my first impression was that I loved it and I wanted to go get it some more. And I've only used the other one once. And I'm like, while well, this is still on sale, I'm gonna go get it. I wanted to get more, but I'm like, you don't need to be spending all that money. So I only just bought one of each of the shampoo, the uh, conditioning treatment, and then I got the leave-in conditioner. And this had a little sample of the uh, oil treatment on it. So, so I went and got that. And then when I I wanted, I got this just because I like the mascara. You know, I had bought another one from that I just showed you from uh, Big Lot. I got it because they had another one in there for $2.29. When I went in there the other day when I was trying to find it for my mama, they didn't have it in there. But I'm like, let me get it because I really like that. And I guess they probably not going to be selling that anymore. So, um, I went into CDS before going to Walgreens because they had 24 packs of, like, the bottled water, the little, whatever, I don't know how many, this bottled water for, um... $2.99 the other day and when I was in there I either forgot to get it or just didn't get it. I don't know why because I wanted it and I I didn't get it though. So I'm like oh yeah let me go get that water because I've not been drinking enough water because my refrigerator has been freezing everything and I really don't like drinking water out the faucet. It doesn't taste good to me down here. It has like a weird aftertaste. So I'm like let me go get it but it was now it was 3 49 or 339 and I, I don't think it was Nestle the first time but I'm like 339 is not bad so I went and got two packs of those so 24 48 bottles of water but when I was in there of course I looked around at the makeup they didn't really have anything to interest me plus I'm trying not to spend money on makeup but they were having sales on just everything pretty much in the store and so when I went in there the first couple of times I saw the stuff that they was having sales on but I um I only looked at the makeup so I didn't look at the other stuff beyond what I was walking past but this time I'm like let me look down the hair out because I knew I was going to be going to Walgreens to get that cream nature so I'm like well I wonder if maybe they got cream nature on sale here they did they didn't even sell cream nature in there but they had uh, the organics on sale for $3.99 and as everyone knows well everyone might not know but this normally costs um this normally is $7.99 and so I'm like, let me try that for $3.99. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner. It's the smoothing shea butter. So hopefully this will work for natural hair. But um, it says indulge your senses with this weightless creamy blend of shea butter and ultra whipped yogurt proteins to nourish and smooth your hair with avocado oils to create smooth, frizz free shiny hair. So hopefully, because you know shea butter is good for natural, it's good for everybody's hair. We can you know naturals use it. Hopefully this will be good. And they're both sulfate free and paraben free. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But it says organic shea butter and um, avocado oils. So let me smell it because it's saying fresh clean scent. I didn't smell it. it smell like shea butter to me. Not like a neck. Because I guess some people say shea butter stinks. I've never really smelled shea butter that had a nasty smell. But... That's what it smells like to me. It smells like shea butter. But. And then I bought this, the tea, the tea, the hydrating. 
can I get it out? The hydrating tea tree mint conditioner. Um, this was three ninety nine as well. Actually, I think those might cost six ninety nine, not seven ninety nine. I forgot. It's one of the other six. It's probably seven ninety nine though. I think. But um, the shampoo was no sale, so, and I rank, I checked it on the little price thing, but it was no sale. So I'm like, I'm not paying seven, eight dollars for some shampoo. So four dollars. I normally wouldn't pay four dollars, but I'm like, let me try it, cause organics. People seem to like it, but this one says an ultra hydrating blend of Australian tea tree oils to add moisture and strength while nourishing your hair with replenishing moisturizing milk proteins and micro infused peppermint oils for hydration and balance. So I just wanna that smells good. I just wanna um, you know, be able to switch out my products so that my hair won't get accustomed. I'm not gonna do it every week, you know, but after I do, you know, use my product for a couple of months or so or have whenever I decide it's not working like it was working before, switch out and why not try these when they're on sale for three ninety nine. So, um I think that's how much I paid. I might only pay two ninety nine now, but the receipt is in not in here. This might have actually only been two ninety nine. I like y'all know. I'll, I'll write it across the screen. Um, so you all, you know, go if you all have been wanting to try organics or if you all already use organics. Now is the time to go get these things. I only bought one of each since I don't know if I'ma like it. But if you know you like this, why not stock up now when you can get it for either three or four dollars? So thanks guys for watching. I hope you all continue to have a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye.